the on door i was stumbling around and of course i had to look around and double check some other things also that i thought were really really good and one thing that popped out that i liked that kind of gave me an idea of maybe doing something was this amelion don new era micro cord yankees hat which is essentially a new york yankees hat reinterpreted by emily on door and it's really amazingly tastefully done of course as you can see i'm not the only person who liked them because both colors are completely sold out at 65 pounds for a a, a dad hat essentially or a strap back with a, a flipping new york yankees logo on the front but if you look at the minor details you look at the shape and this is something i need to kind of emphasize especially once you know off the back of me talking about the moa lola flipping hat or trucker hat that i got which someone did give me a good idea about if i wanted to i could actually um well, which i'm gonna probably end up doing i could take this hat actually which i'm probably gonna do and just cut the logo out really well around the edges and then just buy a blank trucker of the similar sort of colorway or maybe what i'll do is maybe get this color which i always have preferred which is this one this color from this plus pl blue ribbon hat that i've got which is more of a red blue and white as you can see even the shape of this is way better in it look at look at the shape of that pasta river one it's absolutely gunky and full of crap but look at the shape it's far nicer shape as compared to this crappy thing here i just don't like it it sits really weird i think on my head and overall so i'm probably going to get this and cut it around the logo and then probably get it stitched onto one of these bad boys and take them to a tailor and see if that works so i'm really looking forward to doing that going forward but aside from that just to take a look at the shape look at the shape of this just as a sitting i know they've probably stuffed it with some bubble wrap or something to give it a bit of um i maybe they haven't so i'm gonna I'm be, maybe i'm hating and they've actually constructed this hat from the ground up to make it sit this way and it has this nice curvature around it it looks amazing it looks pressed looks the perfect shape for those guys that used to do you know back in the day those kids on flipping subways or trains they'll do the tricks with their hats and they're dancing and flicking up in the air and stuff and you i felt like you always needed your hat to have like a particular kind of curvature for it to work this is what works with it and obviously it being corduroy also think about that how they're able to kind of keep that shape is important really impressive but the other thing that kind of made me think of an idea that i wanted to do going forward is that i've always wanted to make a staple london hat which is really strange because you know i have a love relationship with this fucking city but i thought that would work really cool in the kind of new york yankees type logo set because you know new york and london have a similar sort of vibes so people are obsessed with the city as much as people are obsessed with new york and people talk about city being the best in the world as they do about that place and i feel like i flip on this logo um done in this kind of i would say hand-drawn way it feels like because when I look at this, it feels like something somebody drew on the back of a, you know, napkin at some, you know, uh, at Lucian or something. They were sitting there having a drink and they drew this on the back of a napkin and had like a bit of an aha moment and then took this to the factory and then got it essentially kind of cut out onto some felt or whatnot and then got it made into a logo and stuck it onto a hat right so it's got that real kind of hand-drawn kind of feel like the same thing if you go and get a really nice tattoo by somebody and they sort of hand draw it and don't just trace it that's what it sort of feels like and i feel like i've got something weirdly enough in one of my lacy drives this is something that i usually you know don't promote but i did do this for a while where i made all these really cool designs in my opinion anyway i had all these ideas for merch when we were doing our club nights back in the day at the other buy which i've got loads of ideas for that never printed i've got ideas for like bomber jackets and car cargos this is from ages ago when i used to really be into that stuff which is weird like now it's all that all that stuff is in but i've got it all stored on a lazy hard drive somewhere and I'm going to try and pull it out and see if I can get it done and made because I think that would make for a really cool hat in terms of just something that I could just kind of sell all the time as a little beginner type project and something that I can kind of put out there because I do need to have some piece of product out there in terms of um, showing people what my you know my abilities are my taste levels are and what kind of things I want to do I think it'd be nice just to kind of do like a, a one throwaway type project how everyone kind of started right everyone kind of did one thing whether it was a hoodie where it was a bootleg t-shirt thing everyone's got this one thing they sort of started with as they sort of template and then they kind of built off of that or no as a launching point sorry not template so i'm definitely going to try and do this going forward but this hat is absolutely beautiful it sits really well even on the hat for it being a corduroy hat and it's got some dents and divots there but i still think the shape is absolutely fantastic these models family on door as well they make everything look so good 
these I think they're twins are these two black guys that they make everything look good so big up those guys as well for being absolute swag masters um but yeah I love these hats they look really nice they come in like a car it's like an olive it's an olive cargo and a navy cargo they've got the New York Yankees um logo cut out I guess in some sort of level of felt or something and then stashed on the front and then they've also got Emily Leondor written embroidered on the side here in this really fantastic font also this looks really good bit shaky in parts not the best quality control maybe more to do with the material of, of trying to try and stitch a embroidered font on corduroy isn't probably the easiest it's probably going to come a bit fluffy but you know i would like there to be a little bit of quality control maybe some of the kerning here isn't the best in terms of the spacing and stuff but overall it's still a very exquisitely done hat oh it comes in another color they've got another one too they've got um what's, what's that thing called oh, i don't know my new york stuff too much man uh let me not let me not google it and see this is um this is i'm assuming is it yank no they got new york yankees what's the other team that's the one that spike lee supports isn't it what's it called shit and they don't win anything oh. i don't know i forgot the name i wish i remember it but it's like an orange logo essentially i do i remember wish i remember the name of it but anyway i don't so i keep moving i'm sure people go home are gonna be shouting at me or when they see this video they're gonna be like oh my god how do you not know this but i'm sorry i don't and then you've got a nice leather strap here on the back also it looks pretty nice but for my gigantic hair it's not gonna work the label is really nice also on the inside don't, don't you think a million dollar label it's really big i like these kind of obtuse big logos stitched on the inside when you take it off and you're flossing or you're scratching your head to kind of pat your fucking braids down and you put it on the flipping table and Baze is opposite you is flipping you know eating the Caesar salad and she peeps on the inside she's like oh homeboy's gonna get it you know what i mean because he's got a little a million dollar tag on the inside homeboy's definitely gonna get it but yeah i think these look really nice i'm a big fan of all okay what logo felt yes yeah, so, sorry it's not felt it's not i, I forgot what i said but it's a felt applique new era hat felt applique and i made in mine um myanmar 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 but yeah i'm definitely gonna use this as a launching pad to try and do my ld and hat which i've had on the back burner for a long long time so the fact that no one's done it is great because that means i can do it and absolutely smash the market and dominate and have them sell out and buy myself a tesla with the earnings ha 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 ha